thought I would do another vlog. Um, so I still haven't edited the uh, second vlog as we speak, but this will be in the third vlog. Um, I just want to show you what we've sort of done. We've done a few time lapses, but I haven't actually talked to the camera in a while because I've been working, um, so it's a little bit difficult. But um, I would just sort of show you round. So into our living room, the lighting is so yellow in here. <laughs> Um, so we've sugar soaked all of the walls and managed to get distemper off of it. I can't remember whether I mentioned or not, but we figured out all of our walls have distemper on it, which is like PVA glue and powder. They used to do it in the um, like sort of 50s in order to like seal in cracks and make like wallpaper and things stick better. But it only works for the first sort of coat of wallpaper and paint and things. And then after that, it's just it makes normal paint peel off. It kind of needs to be done fresh. So we basically just had to use a load of elbow grease and all of these white patches are just holes that we filled in um so we've got it everywhere but the walls are relatively smooth um andy i'm not sure whether you can see he did do a time lapse you can kind of see above my head so this side is what he's cleaned and then i'm going to do the rest of this tomorrow when i've got a day off um it obviously just it just gets uh, filthy from all the glue and then probably the biggest thing that i will insert a time lapse into in a moment is they took down the wall in our kitchen, so beforehand you would walk in here and there would be like kitchen there, but that is my dining room and kitchen now. It's amazing. So yeah, it's like huge. <laughs> so we're gonna have like an L shape coming from sort of here and then kitchen stuff all in there and this is gonna be the dining room. It was gonna be the other way around, but for plumbing reasons, it's better to um, put it in this room the dining room so we still need to remove all them cabinets but they're just kind of like storage space at the moment um i can't remember whether i vlogged this or not but andy fell through the ceiling <laughs> it was so funny um and then we've got uh, our valium boiler so we actually have heating now with boop um and then just pipes everywhere because we've just had to sort of like short circuit the water um because we've had to close water off in some places like the upstairs bathroom so I think that's around about it. I um, did like lots of little things like cleaning up these walls. I mean, obviously that one needs to still be done. <laughs> um, our bathroom hasn't really changed. Oh my Lord, it's warm in here. It gets really, really warm from this towel radiator. So the floorboards are up. So we're just standing on, so underneath this floorboard that I'm standing on is where Andy fell. <laughs> Uh, so we've put these boards here so no one else falls um, and it's just a bit easier to walk around in um, But yeah, hopefully the bathroom will start getting done soon and then we also Took out all the bricks and this is the original fireplace underneath um, So it actually has like a chimney all the way up um, But we're going to board this in and have a recessed fireplace with a floating mantelpiece So yeah, I'm probably gonna just throw in a load of time lapses here now from the wall from taking out the fireplace um, sort of all good things that needed doing um but i've just forgotten to talk to the camera about so yeah enjoy the time lapses i find them so satisfying <laughs>
up on here um, and show you the ridiculous situation. Yeah, all of that's come down, by the way. Um, the bit of the ridiculous situation. So we don't have like a sink or anything, uh, but we have shower rooms. So this is how we wash up our dishes. Um, kind of filming this just to look back on because it's just funny. So Andy is there in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Washing next dishes. To the toilet. Yeah, next to the toilet, and then I've got this is where you like put them on a tea towel, and then I'm drying tonight. <laughs> it's like it's kind of cute, but kind of ridiculous at the same time. So we just we work it out, don't we, babe? Aww. Evening, everyone. I've been pretty crappy at filming vlogs, um, and we haven't done many time lapses, but I just thought I'd show you. So obviously I showed you that the wall is down, there's Andy, but we've actually started putting kitchen in and Andy plastered that ceiling today. How was it? Feel accomplished? Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got our washing machine there that we can plug in at some point. But yeah, that's our kitchen taken form. But now we are focusing on the living room for this evening, um, getting all of the glue off the ceilings. I did try the other day for some little bits, but there's still a bit to get off. And then I am using aqua chalk. Aqua cork? Is that aqua chalk or aqua cork? Um, cork. Cork. Aqua cork. <laughs> Look at this little bit of hair. And I'm filling in gaps around the window and things. Me and Dad did this one today. Um, yeah, we're just filling everything so then tomorrow we can like kind of sand and paint, hopefully. Or prime at least. just been told that Ellen is coming over today. She's been in Australia, so I haven't seen her. Um, so I'm literally dying of excitement. Like, so yeah, we're gonna finish off here first, get some flooring because I found some that are on sale, the ones that we want for the living room. But yeah. Until Ellen came and then I didn't film anything when Ellen came but basically she just helped me polyfilled we chatted for ages I went out and got some stuff from like Screwfix and like TK Maxx and things and then um, I was like sanding walls downstairs in the lounge and then yesterday I also filmed hardly anything there's a time-lapse of me chasing um, a wall so it's basically using a chisel and a um, metal sort of hammer um, and Basically, uh, we got a laser just to find like a straight line um, because we have two cables and we want to chase them um, like the plug sockets into the wall and all of our walls are kind of like concrete so we need to chase them by chiselling into the concrete. Um, so I've got a little time lapse of me doing that. Um, so Andy has now like put the plug sockets in and things like that and that is where our TV is going to go. <laughs> up painting supplies we've hoovered and mopped the floor so it's a little bit easier to um, paint and not get like loads of stuff everywhere but I just thought I'd go through the steps I asked on Twitter what you guys wanted to see from 
um, me doing these vlogs, like the house renovating vlogs, and majority of you said that instead of me just saying, this is what we've done, and then the time lapse, you would much rather me go through and actually um, explain the steps, which I've been kind of bad at doing, but I'm gonna just talk you through what we've done now. So, all of these walls had about four layers of wallpaper on. What we used was a steamer, as well as um, Solvite, I've got some over here actually. Um, so, Solvite wallpaper stripper. Sprayed that on there, um, God, it's bright. Um, and then we basically scraped off all the wallpaper as much as we possibly could. Um, we discovered, after we had um, done that, that the walls were full of distemper. So we had already started sugar soaping. Sugar soaping is a solution. I'm gonna put up on my blog um, at some point uh, my like top sort of picks for if you're renovating a house. Um, so with a sugar soap solution, you mix it with water and it's a very abrasive solution. So you need to wear gloves when you use it and a coarse brush and you basically just scrub the walls. It just gets off any dirt, oil, anything that on the walls. So um, that won't let like paint or plaster stick to. But we found out that our um, walls have distemper on, which is basically what they used in the olden days. Um, <laughs> so our house was built in 1952 and they would mix PVA glue with like a powder substance, put it on the walls, and then as it dried, it would shrink into the cracks and make it really smooth. So then when you first put the wallpaper on or the paint, it would stick. The only problem with that is it's only good for the first application. So the majority of our wallpaper, if you've seen the tile lapses, came off quite easily. Like it wasn't like it was a huge struggle. Um, that is because it wasn't, the glue never really bonded to the wall properly. So um, we've had a lot of trouble <laughs> trying to scrape it off because otherwise the paint will flake. I tried to do it upstairs in our bedroom and the paint completely bubbled because there was still distemper on the wall. So we've managed to go and like completely just strip that back. Um, and then if you see all of these little white patches on the wall, we use polyfiller. So we had loads of holes in the wall from like various things, but polyfiller is basically like a chalky substance. We got pre-made up ones and you basically pop it in the hole, it will dry and kind of shrink and it just fills in that hole. You just sand over the top and then it's good to go. So we've done that. Um, we then had to get rid of the polystyrene ceiling tiles, sugar soap that, then sand it, as well as fill in all the cracks. Um, some of the cracks, there's still a few little ones, but they're not, I think if I do one of my primer coats then it should fill it in. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it will. Um, so that is pretty much all up to date. After we've sanded all of the walls, what we've done this morning, which is the time lapse that I've just shown you, we then uh, just get cold, clean water with a sponge, just wipe it off. I also clean the skirting board so we don't get any sort of like dust and things. And then we over the floor, mopped it. And then this room is ready to paint. So we're going to start on the ceiling. If you don't know, you always start on the ceiling. So if any paint drips down, it's not going to affect the walls because you wouldn't have done them yet. Um, and my plans for it. So we're going to have a white ceiling and it's going to come white down to that picture rail. So that bit's kind of like yellow up there and then it goes down to brown, brown, grey, whatever. Um, but that like yellow bit is going to be white. And then from that picture rail, which is about there, all of this is going to be dark grey. So that is my plan. We're going to have majority of the walls having a dropped ceiling um, or cascading ceiling. That's, I don't really know what it's called, but that's what I call it. Um, so yeah, I am going to start and show you guys. <laughs> My hair's like a mess, I've literally just woken up. But we are painting, as you can see by Andy doing the ceiling. Um, we started painting yesterday, Ellen came and helped me put the primers on, and then uh, yesterday evening we did the second coat of the ceiling, and then I've also done the picture rail, because I'm gonna have a drop down ceiling. 
So yeah, that is what we're doing today. And then hopefully paint gray on that wall and that wall and that wall. So yeah. the ceiling it looks a little bit patchy in this light but it's fine um, and then we've done so we've done three coats on the picture rail four coats of the ceiling this is all since last night as well uh, skin's breaking out and now Andy is putting a laser so we know where to do this picture from so um, yeah we're just figuring out what is best so we're going to be painting like gray up until then and have like the cascading ceiling I bet you any money, like, after we've done all of this, I'm going to be like, nah, not the grey the whole way. <laughs> be sorted all. Um, so, yeah, we're just figuring out. painted this room yesterday. I started filming a time lapse, which you saw, but um, my phone died, so I can't really show you all of it. This is just one coat, but all of these have had two coats and it looks gorgeous. So now I'm going to take off the tape, which I think is gonna be really, really satisfying because we're doing a like drop down ceiling and it's pulling off some of the white paint with it. No, it's not too bad. Oh, we can touch them up, that's fine. Look how clean that line is, except for that little bit that I got on the white. <laughs> Had to touch that up. <laughs> So yesterday Andy managed to board up the fireplace which I will go and sort of give you a little tour around what we've done soon um, and then my mum came and painted um, and my dad, my dad boarded up the um, RSJ that is in the um, like kitchen diner, it stops the supporting wall falling down so there's plaster boarded around that um, and then uh, yeah, mum painted our kitchen and things like that. Tomorrow we've got Andy's friend Tristan coming around and he's going to help Andy like skim and do stuff with plaster, I don't really know. Um, but today I'm off on a Reiki course so I won't be here all day but hopefully um, Andy can get some time lapses maybe. Um, it's mainly just going to be little things. I've just asked him to plug in my, um, uh, what is it, microwave or oven just so we can like cook properly. Um, so... They're gonna do that. I'll just show you what's been going on. So I did a second coat here. That's a load of dust because Andy was doing the plugs. They're nice, like sort of dark chrome. And then we've got one there that needs to be touched up around it because the dust. It shows all of the dust, like over there. You can see a speck. Um, but yeah, so the room is painted. We went back down for a drop down ceiling. Um, the black radio looks really nice, and our sofa came, which is all under here so that is the colour of it is a dark charcoal um, but we're just leaving it under there until we get some floor down and finish the rest of the stuff in here. Um, so Andy has been putting these poles, oh, mm, what are they called, battens, um, wooden battens on here. Um, the fireplace is underneath this bit of plasterboard and he's going to plasterboard it all up because he needs something for the plasterboard to stick to and then inside it's a nice like recessed fireplace and then we're going to build up um, a little sort of step by the fireplace um, and yeah and then we could maybe lay some floors in here and yeah so we've ordered a tv stand from Wayfair um, we are ordering a tv as well um, so yeah it's really exciting I'm literally in love with my paint job <laughs> and then through here Andy's making noise <laughs> um, so this is our kitchen so we've got like, loads of just random cabinets here at the moment but mum uh, painted white on the ceiling and the walls for us so we've just got our little makeshift stuff so we got a hob and this is going to be our oven and our microwave uh, we've got a fridge that's going over there 
Um, so yeah, it all looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but it should get up together pretty soon. Again, I am rubbish at closing off vlogs. So um, I'm going to leave this one here as it's getting slightly long um, next week. You'll see the rest of the paint job for the living room. As you can tell, I'm in my living room right now. Um, and this is the fireplace wall that uh, has all been done. So um, nothing fell down in the process. We're still living, so um, it's all gone good. So yeah, I will leave you here and I will see you in the next vlog. Hopefully I won't wait too long to edit the next one for you. As all of you seem to really be loving it, please leave me any comments, any questions. Um, tell me like what you're enjoying from it, if you're doing it yourself, like I really would love to know. It's really nice when people start interacting and you all seem to be like really, really loving this uh, sort of series and I'm really glad. So yeah, I will chat to you in the next vlog and see you soon. Bye.